Hey, how you doing? Editor of Mix Mind Studios here, showing you how to export from After Effects in a more efficient way, or a better way. So get started. Uh, I have a video here that we took. Well, we already shot this video. It's on uh, Facebook. You should go check it out. As you can see, the we shot with the T2i, and wait until it gets in focus. Oh, nope, he did not get in focus. Alright, he will get in focus on a few. And he got in focus. Now, we want that same quality unpixelated after we export from After Effects. So here's how you do it. Open up your After Effects. File, import. as it is for uh, it's a DSLR so it does this alright once we put that in we have what we want uh, great we have what we want now uh, I'll just cut from that area no so I just put uh, B and, and now we will add to render key. Now here's what we're gonna here's what we're gonna get a little bit uh different. We will go format to quick time. Once we get to there, uh, now we will go to um, format options. And we uh, make sure the Kodak is on PNG. A PNG is pretty good. Quality, at, I put the quality at all. All I can give it, which is 100%. And once we get that, great. Um, get some audio. All right, let's get some audio. 48. Uh, it's actually a pretty good one from what I hear. Uh, I just do this just in case anything bad happens. So I can uh, keep it in good shape and good format make sure nothing goes wrong and I will okay it and render all right we're back um, I'm done exporting and there's one thing you have to know about this way of exporting is that once it's done the file that you export it will be a little, hell of a lot bigger when you're done with the final product and project in your After Effects it'll be very very big Last time I did this, it was roughly around 2 gigabytes for a file that was about 200 megabytes when it first started. Uh, once we have done that, it's a huge file. It opens up a quick time and it's very choppy because it's so big and you need a very strong process to run it. I'm on a laptop. So, let's go to Media Encoder. Here you go. Alright, now we're here. As you can see, uh, Cypher, which you guys, uh, was on my channel, Mixed Minds, uh, that was the fight. Basically, I've done this, and it was actually exported beautifully. I don't need these anymore, so I will remove them. Now it's time to add. Add that. Uh, see the, the difference in size? This just made sure it, it exported from After Effects correctly, so it was a bigger file than this. And and look at it; it's a sh it's thirteen seconds, a minute, money, a minute and twenty. See the difference? So we open that. Once we have it here, we will um. For if you're gonna upload to YouTube, it's recommended that you do it in H.264. Uh. Or you can do MPEG. Four, but I, I did it like this and it turned out great uh, I did it in the the format my file was originally put into After Effects which was a, a 1080p uh, 30, uh, 30 frames per second as you can see I really did not see any 30 frames per second here for this so 29.97 was a was as good and we even have VMO anyway let's go back to what we're doing and I will just change this to final and desktop and start. 
Now, it will um, it will do three files when it does uh, this thing. I, at first, I thought it was a it was an error, but apparently, it has to do this. It has to export the audio and the video diff, you know, separately, so it can put it back in in a better in a better uh, file or the same quality file. So no, none of the quality will actually get lost. And it will be a heck of a lot uh, smaller file than it was originally up here, so it's a it's a good uh, it's a good start, you know, it's a good export. All right, so it's now done, and uh, we can go check it out now. Put the audio low. Now. Well, let's, uh, let's stop somewhere where we can actually. Oh, come on. All right, uh, right there. Have what we done here, the final to the original, and we can uh, and we will go to where it happens. As you can see, there's not really a difference. It is still as beautiful, still great, and we barely lost. Look, look. As you can see, uh, his ash on the side of his uh, traps. Uh, we can go to the final, and we can see the ash and straight of the quality, unless that's chalk, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. All right, so. Uh, showed you something that I thought was cool and uh, you can go check out that uh, the final which was uh, exported not this way it was actually exported in uh, in a Mac version way um, my friend edited the video he exported it in uh, another way and you can see the difference in quality same, same files see the difference in quality and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial